Hello and welcome to Bodo, Norway. Beautiful place to wake up this morning. Um, yeah, we just finally got here after two flights. My baggage didn't get lost, so that's always a bonus. Um, I bought the Vercelli's this time, so this is the first day of basically 10 days that we're gonna be fishing various different marks all over this um, beautiful coastline. We're just starting this morning, just with a uh, sort of a couple hours practice local to the house hopefully we can produce a few fish but yeah we'll just see how we get on um, going to be using herring and some and mackerel and mainly fish baits even if we don't catch anything just nice to be here um, yeah so we'll keep you updated and this is part one Right, just going to go through some basic, basically what the rig we're going to be using, majority of the holiday anyway, uh, majority of the trip, is an 8 or about 8 octopus hook with some tubing to help the bait elastic bite into it, that's a bit of bluey wrapped on, some flash of your choice, just tie the knots in as well, because, well, it's 150 pound braking strain so you're not going to compromise the strength, basically, basically just a heavy pulley is what we're using. But the most important bit um, is the lead side, which is the rotten bottom. It's quite snaggy over it, so just want to make sure if you get a fish, you lose this, not the fish. Hello, right, sun's starting to come out, as you can see, it's absolutely glorious, there's not a breath of wind down here today, first day out on it is, you know, we couldn't really ask for much more, um, just going to take you over, introduce you to the chaps I'm going to be fishing with for most of this week, um, John isn't with us at the moment, he's still asleep, but yeah, so I'll, I'll go and say hello to them in a minute, hopefully we'll see some a nice variety of species, I mean, Anything is possible with most of these marks. I'd like to get on the, on the, on the big flats, the, the halibut, um, the ling, cod, whiting, um, wolfish, just a, like a nice variety of species so I can you know, get it all and show you guys. Um, but really my main goal this, this time round is a halibut. I didn't have one last time, even a sort of 10 pound one I'd be absolutely over the moon with. So hopefully we can pick something up that's decent. Um, and show you some stuff. We are going to go have a go for the sort of the place at some point this week. Again, a decent dab would be nice because I've never had one of those. So we'll just see what happens, I guess. But um, in terms of the fish that can be caught here, um, the, you know, it's the usual minus the halibut and the wolfish and the lum. It's sort of UK species, but just on steroids. So it'd be nice to see. I had a four pound white in last time I was here. If I can beat that, that'd be amazing. Um, Pollock you don't see loads of, to be fair. I hadn't seen one last time I was here. Um, and coalfish. Hopefully I get a few decent coldies, so we'll see what happens. Let's go say hello to Sam and Dan. Hello fellas, good morning. Good morning. Hello. How are we doing? 
All good, you? Any bites? No, mm. nothing just yet. Just sat waiting. What are we likely to see from this mark then? Get some ling, cod, um, haddock, cold fish. Good variety to be fair. And has it been fishing well recently or is it? Yeah, it's been been not too bad. We had um, one of the guys last week had a ling at £10. Then we had a couple of smaller ones. Um, John, one of the other guys had a ling at £16. Nice. Yeah. So there's all to play for then. Hopefully we see something today. Oh, yes. If not, we'll be seeing it at the next mark, I'm sure. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Looking forward to that one. Mr Hickey's first time here. Yeah. What is the thing you come to catch most, to be honest? Um, probably a halibut. Yes. Well, I, I'm the same. Last time I didn't have one, so I'd be even like a £10 one I'd be buzzing with. Um, there's a good chance, Sam said, that like the week prior there was a few come out, even you know, small to medium-sized ones, so hopefully we can pick one up. That, that, that's what I'm here for, really. I had pretty much everything else last time, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we've got some good weather coming, so we'll get on the halibut hopefully over the next couple of days and give them a try. Yeah, see well, we can do. we'll keep you updated. <laughs> Because it's a uh, fairly deep water here, it takes about two minutes for the lead to hit the bottom, maybe a bit longer. I've just got enough line on this reel to deal with it. Still going. Come on. Oh, hit the bottom. And now, because there's a huge arc in the line, you've got to slowly work it back so it ends up like Sam's over there, basically directly in front of you. That's it. Where's the fish? Well, <coughs> it's the first cast of the second mark and just had a bite looks promising but it seems to have stopped so we will see <laughs> just having a well, beautiful scenery for the blank so far but yeah i'm sure the fish will come in, in time just gotta wait now at least it's sunny and not pissing down with snow or wind so yeah we'll see Oh, there it is. Ooh. There's the dog. Is it a black mouth? Yeah. Doggy's just having a chill on the surface. Sam's in. Doggy, yeah. Yeah, it's chilling on the top. A little sunbathe. I had a bite.
What do we reckon? Cod? Swim site, swim site. I thought I'd do Only another 5,000 meters to go. What's the prediction? Cod. Cod. Choddy. Ling. You reckon Ling? What about you? I'm going to say Haddock. No, my rod is moving, so I'm going to hear. Tangled. No, that's a bite, I think. I think I've got my rod. I'm on it. Yeah. Is it you? Just stand by your rod, Dad. Coley. Coley. We all roll. It's <laughs> cold, isn't it? Coley. Yes, Coley. Come this side. Right. If you um, take your bait run off a bit lighter, Dad. Yeah. Sam, if you grab, get it, so I'll grab your rod, you grab the line, you'll have to hand line it up. And then you'll untangle it all. Keep your tip forward a bit, please, um, Dan, keep your line off the rocks. Yeah. Yep. Right, one on the go. Go there. Have you ever gone on it? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice fish, not bad start. Chucking back out for bait. Yeah, you wanted your coldy guts. Yeah. If they're down there, there'll be things that
<sighs> Ooh. falling over everywhere now. Right, so first first one of the trip. It's not a monster, but it is, it is, is at least a fish. And it's a little haddock, probably about three pounds. That's probably a bit less than that, maybe two and a half, three. But he's going to go back. Hook come out pretty easily. Um, yeah, it's just nice to see. It's blazing hot, getting sunburnt. We've had one coley as well. So, a bit slow start, but I'm sure it will pick up. Let's get it back. Yep. Hey. I just got to get it out further, I think. Yeah, that was pretty small bait. Interesting. Got a ling. Is that a lum? Huh? Is that a lum? Yeah, it's a lum. <laughs> I called it on my own as well. You got a little lum. And you got a ling. Ling and lum. Right, bring yours in now. Alright, second fish. Literally on the drop. Had this. The moment I mended the line back, it was basically already on there. It's a little lum. It's the first time I've ever had one. Cool colours on it. And this one's definitely going back because he's... Alive and kicking. Got nasty teeth on him as well, I don't know if you can see. Don't fancy putting my hand in his mouth. But yeah. Nice to add to the species hunt. Fish is starting to pick up now. Hopefully we see a few bigger ones. I'll get this one back once again. Yeah, I don't really love you going there. We got it back though. Probably pulled it out for you though. Happy days. Might have lost the lead. No, I ain't lost the lead. You haven't? No. Decent. Another bite, mate. Yeah? Another bite? Yeah. Yep. So you've got Adekon Coley guts, Lum on Haddock Get the dogs yet? That's why I haven't got a mask on yet. Oh, fucking 
I'm not going to wedge in there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the equation. Had it guts times lung guts equals cod. Shakes, yeah. yeah, head shakes. Are we not? Yeah. 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 Oh, it's a haddock, is it? <laughs> it's a dog. Nice fucking fat haddock, isn't it? Fucking fine, look at that. <laughs> Size of that bastard. I'm just thinking, look at them guts. Yeah. <laughs> look at them, all them guts in there. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it lie and I've seen the, the colours on that big spot. Yeah. Your liver. <laughs> Cheers, Sam. No. That's dinner, isn't it? That's dinner, yeah. Ooh. Right, so we've had something a little bit better. Um, wind's completely dropped off now, it's probably about six o'clock, something like that. Um, managed to get seven o'clock, seven o'clock <laughs> now. Managed to get the haddock I had earlier, as bigger brother. Um, it's a nice fish. Look at the size of the belly on it. Sorry about the blood. He's coming home for dinner tonight. So yeah, nice to see. Just nice to be out here. It's actually roasting. I think I've caught the sun today, but um, all the fish today have been caught on fish baits and used some of the guts that we've used, uh, that we've caught, all the fish we've caught, have used to catch other fish. So recycling. But yeah, happy buzzing with this. Um, see if we can get another one. So after a beautiful first day out in Norway, we've completed our mission. We've caught some fish, um, we've caught the sun also. Um, it's been a glorious first day. The weather couldn't have been better. Um, as you can see now in the background, the sun's starting to go down. It's probably about 10 o'clock at night when we packed up. At this time of year in Norway, there's not much darkness. So you get quite a lot of daylight hours to fish, which can be 
a bit deceptive. Um, we'd been out for like 12 hours, so we'd all certainly um, had our fill for the first day. I was really buzzing about that haddock. I mean, it's the best one I've ever had, so that was an absolute bonus to, to get a PB on the first day. Thanks for joining us on part one. Part two will be released next week, and I'll be subsequently releasing all of the episodes every Sunday until I've run out of footage. Um, yeah, so thanks for joining us. There will be some information at the end of each video about how you can get onto one of these trips with Guide to Fish in Norway. Just contact John Strange um, with the details at the end of this video, and he'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.